Lotto, uh, two victories in a week. Uh, you had some time to practice opening champagne bottles, but it still didn't work out really well. <laughs> no, it got stuck. I was almost panicking there, <laughs> like, oh, again! But yeah, I was thinking I will keep the show then, <laughs> in the end. I was like, okay, relax. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> You get more practice maybe throughout the season. It looks like the sprint is really on top now, um, but it was pretty close. When, would, when did you know that you actually won the race today? I was thinking I won on the line, but then Jolin say, was saying to me like, so who won? And I was like, oh, okay, now I'm not sure anymore. And yeah, and then after five minutes, I was sure that they take call like, okay, that I won. So I was happy about that. How about the teammates? Did they immediately congratulate or did they wait or how did they, they react? No, they came immediately, like they were almost crying because it was <laughs> such a hard race and they, most are young girls and never did this long races and they were there and helping work their asses off. <laughs> really, um, yeah, they were really emotional about the win because yeah, they did everything what they could to for the win today. It's a quite good spring uh, already for the team with many really good results, many victories, also the Young Riders jersey for Cecil. How does that come? We have amazing atmosphere in the team, like everybody's helping each other, supporting, like it's just amazing, like everybody's have their backs and, and also in the race the communication is really, really good. Can you tell me a bit about the race today? Um, actually it has five really hard climbs or they are not long but they are hard enough but still it was a bunch sprint at the end was it not at not that high speed or what was the what was the reason for that mm, i think today wasn't that much wind maybe there was some wind but not enough um, there was a lot of attacks but everybody just went to the attacks and nobody didn't want the group go i think and um, also i did last year the mistake that i i dropped in the last climb and and this year i was thinking like this year I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> so I think everybody, also Jolene was in the group with me last year, so she didn't want to be dropped this year. And I think everybody was more prepared. And yeah, I think everybody's um, in a good shape right now. <laughs> it looks like the, the peloton is really close together. Last question, on the way to the finish line, it's like 30 kilometers flat, mostly flat, a bit little rolling. What did Thomas say in the car? Did he say, just hold your nerves, nobody attacks, we all try to control it and then and then bring it to a sprint or how hard was it to not go with all the attacks from Majerus and whoever attacked? Yeah there's some attacks going also we did some attacks like Mari did some several attacks from the from the group and that was Thomas's tactic that she will go and and also she, he said to us in the radio that that there if there's going a group there <laughs> that there's no um, without Bigler Rider there in the front. So there was always somebody, except in the end, there was a little hassle, but 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 um, it worked out well. Like they they still, they pulled, they were tired, and they did everything for me that, that, that we could win the race today. And how did the lead out work then? They were there for me, but I said to them that, um, that, uh, that I'm there, or I can also go on the wheels. And they, Lisa, example, she's a track rider, she came, brought me to the to the final in the last last two k so they were tired but they did amazing job today thank you very much and congratulations again <laughs>